Okay, you're live. Hi, everybody. It's so good to see you. I miss you even more now. It seems like it's been forever. Um, so welcome to um, a little more um, Sparkle in Place with Deja and Co. And today it's just going to be a short one, unlike how we usually go way too long. We're just going to talk a little bit about Corona Kindness. And first of all, hi, hi, I miss you all. Um, and uh, we were speaking the other day and we thought it would be good to do a little live video about it. Um, we have a program here called Giving with Gratitude, which um, has been part of the boutique for a while now, which is our, um, our just basically our, our giving back uh, part of our what we love to do. Um, and so we give back to different um, charities and such. Um, we've never really launched it. Uh, we've talked about doing that, but we thought because of what's happening now and with Corona Kindness that we would go ahead and do a little bit and share it with you today. Lindsay so. and Stacy are watching. And Sam. Sam, Lindsay, Stacy, hi! Thanks for joining us. So happy you're here. Um, so with what's been happening lately, um, I know out there that um, there are some businesses that are doing um, wonderfully, and I'm so, so happy about that. We're so blessed to live in this beautiful valley. Um, and I know that, you know, others are, are struggling a bit. And um, we are great, we're fine, but um, it's not to say that I don't worry. I have been doing this my, it's basically been my entire career. I had lots of jobs when I was younger, but once I kind of went into this after graduating from college, this has been my one job <laughs> and I absolutely love it. And um, probably as a lot of you know, it's, it's my baby. Um, Dejan cuts my baby. So I, it's very meaningful to me because of the people. Uh, that's the main reason. All of you, my incredible team, all of the beautiful artists we get to work with as well, and just everybody who crosses our threshold is very meaningful um, to me. And with most of you, I've known you for many years or even decades. Um, so I have, I got a little bit, you know, worried when, um, when all this came about for so many reasons. First of all, of course, health first and, and all of our loved ones is the, the very first thing. And a little bit, I started to worry about the business. And the first thing that I do when um, ever I'm feeling a lack of something, wh whatever that may be, whether it's love and attention, or in this case, you know, um, maybe kind of along the lines of prosperity for the business, um, I think the first thing to do is is to give um, because that expands our hearts. It expands the ability for us to see a bigger picture. And um, it also opens our hands up when we give. So we thought, we've got to give. Where, where do we want to give? So the team, um, we've been talking about where we'd like to give back. And we've, um, the, we have three. So. Second Harvest Food Bank, because I know it's been really hard on all the nonprofits um, because not only uh, maybe monetarily, but they also, you know, can't have all of their uh, wonderful volunteers to come help. And I also know that the need has grown. Uh, so we're, we've already are putting in um, a nice uh, well, little lovely donation to uh, Second Harvest Food Bank. And we all here are animal lovers. I think you saw Bria on Catterday this past weekend. And so she, um, and then I know I, that, oh, thank you guys for sharing your pets. I met, I met new um, kittens and puppies this weekend, which made me happy. And I'm going to attempt a Catterday, but we'll have to see how I do with technology on my own, not my strength. <laughs> Um, but we love animals, so we're also going to be donating to the Humane Society because we know that through all of this that sometimes um, 
some of the, the wonderful pets um, are going to be in need as well. And I know that they've been setting up extra shelters and that the pets they have, a lot of wonderful people around are taking them in as their little foster fur babies. So that's absolutely wonderful. Um, so that's what we're doing to make us feel full and, um, and just really being with the community. Your community and your friends and your family also makes you feel full and safe, which is uh, another wonderful reason to do that. And also, um, some of you may remember uh, one of the amazing holiday catalogs that Bria makes. She did, um, when you opened it up, the, the um, first and second pages, the inside cover and such, she did this beautiful photograph of Tanzania because one of our greatest joys is that um, the team here, we adopted a lovely uh, uh, girl named Gemma, perfect name for us, right? And um, we, we have the opportunity to pay for her schooling. Um, uh, lovely, dear client friends of ours um, have just, their family has spent their time, their love, their hard work, their travel, um, helping out a Tupandane orphanage in Tanzania. And what happens is, is as the children get to a certain age, they're allowed to keep them only to a certain age. And you know, I'm forgetting, it's either like nine or 11 years old and they're an orphanage. So at that point, the kids would, if they could find some extended family, that's great. But oftentimes be out on the streets, which we can't have that. So um, this wonderful organization called um, Educating Tanzania Foundation has 100% so far um, stopped that. Every time the children get to a certain age, they're able to get them into a school. And not only is it wonderful to have the education, of course, um, but they also get food and a place to sleep every night and they love their school and we love Gemma she's super smart she gets straight A's and she's elegant and beautiful um, and I also have a child on my own too his name is Alicia so what's happening now is they took the um, coronavirus very seriously in uh, Arusha there there was one case um, uh, from I, I think a person who had maybe traveled to Europe or something and came back and then there were two other cases so only three cases but they took it very seriously and I think after just the first person they closed the all the schools for about at least 30 days and so then all the children can't stay there and they either go back to the orphanage you know like for a temporary time which is going to be really crowded or those that have maybe extended family they go stay with them and the main concern was for food. So uh, this is the donation we place there is helping everyone to be fed, um, which we're really ha happy about. We all need to be fed. <laughs> and that actually feeds us when we're doing that. So I just wanted to let you know about that and all the lovely um, people that are out there in the world. Thank you to all of you who volunteer. It's there's um, nothing better. So we're sending out lots of love and sparkle to all of the volunteers. And um, and just a, a little shout out, thank you to um, to those who are still, you know, interacting with us and, and uh, making purchases because on top of our donation, um, any proceeds for any purchases that um, can occur while we're closed. We're also donating from there as well. So we want to thank you. Um, and also we can't have a sparkle in place without some sparkle. So I am wearing a really pretty, you see, let's see, it's getting closer to stand. Yeah. This is a Tanzanite pendant. Um, and does that help? Is that a little better? Yeah. There we go. So it's a Tanzanite in the center and diamonds. And it's very pretty and sparkly, which goes very nicely with this big tanzanite ring that's on my finger. Um, and that's some of our collection there. 
I'm going to show you one of my favorite rings ever and a beautiful coincident ring. This is an Omi Cafe and the center has a deep, rich, brilliant emerald cut tanzanite with a trapezoid cut pink sapphires uh, courting the center stone, so on either side. And this is a really pretty ring. Can you see it? Okay. Here it is. And just a few things from our collection today. We won't keep you too long because Bria's going to come talk to you after because she's our perfect spokesperson. And then we have here a pair of tanzanite and diamond earrings. Really pretty little dangles. Um, and the tanzanite here that have the diamond halo. They come on and off of the top piece so you can wear just the hoops um, or add something to it. And then this one has always been one of my favorite, favorite pieces. This is beautiful tanzanite here. Um, set in an 18 karat yellow gold in the form of a cross. It's a really pretty diamonds, a pair of diamonds between each of the stones. And it's real pretty on. I've worn this before. I couldn't help it. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. Um, again, I say this over and over. I miss you guys so much. I can't wait to see you soon. And have a lovely day. And I'm going to bring Bria to see you. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>
is looking for strength right now. We're trying to stay strong through difficult times. And so we thought that we could all as a community, as Deja darlings, share the things that make us strong with each other. Um, so let me see, I have notes here of what we did for each day, but for um, all of April on social media, on um, Facebook and Instagram for sure, and I think we're gonna get it going on Twitter as well, um, we are doing um, basically a theme for each day of the week. So it'll be the same every week. Um, each day we'll have a theme and we're calling it the seven facets of strength. So on um, Sunday, you can share a person or animal that makes you strong. Um, Monday is a song. Tuesday is a book or a quote, or it could be a poem. Um, Wednesday is a place that gives you strength. Uh, Thursday is a photo or a memory. It could be a story as well. Friday could be an object, a treasure, an adornment that keeps you safe or makes you feel safe. Or sorry, strong, not safe, but they kind of go hand in hand. And um, Saturday is a hobby or practice that gives you strength. So um, we thought, you know, we're all as strong as diamonds. What makes us that way? What are the things that we rely on that, that give us that feeling of strength? So um, today, since it's Wednesday, we've already shared, you can look on our Instagram and Facebook story to see instructions on how to do it. And we've shared today a place that gives us strength. As Deja & Co, we shared the Deja & Co Boutique because of course, it's a place that we love to be. It's where we meet all of you. It's where we celebrate, you know, with wonderful parties and we make, you know, basically lifelong lasting um, connections with people. So this is a place that makes me, especially as well as an employee, I feel that this place gives me strength and I'm sure Deja feels the same way in the rest of our team. So that's what we shared yes, on we our, <laughs> Deja says, yes, we do. Um, that's what we shared on our profile, but we encourage you to share with us, what is a place that gives you strength? Is it your home? Is it a home of you know, your friends? Is it something really literal like the gym <laughs> that obviously gives you strength? Um, basically a place that, that empowers you or makes you feel strong, safe, happy. Um, these are the places that, that we wanna hear about from you. Um, so I'm excited to see you know, what people share. I wanna see, I'm excited to see what books people share so that I can then go and you know, read those books or what songs people share. So as a community, we can really help each other find things that, that give us that strength and that warmth and connection as well. So that's what that's about. So go check that out on our um, social media pages. It should be up on Facebook and Instagram. And the hashtag we're using for that is hashtag Deja Diamond Strong, which is in the description of this video. So um, you can click on that. And as more and more people post, you'll see more and more under that hashtag as well. And I'm gonna post after this video my own, since I haven't done that yet. I've posted for the store, but not my own yet. Um, but since um, we've covered that, I want to show you more Tanzanite jewelry. So I have this beautiful necklace for those of you who may recognize. It's one of our long 40 inch chains. But if you have a, I kind of have a small neck. So if you have a small neck like me, you might be able to triple it like a choker. Or you can also double it and wear it at like two different lengths or even kind of together as two strands. But I don't know if it's hard to see because of the lighting, but it's a beautiful Tanzanite stone chain. And we have some more rings here too that I wanna show you. This one is really beautiful. It's sort of just a, a very classic setting. Can you see that all right? It is a round Tanzanite with a cushion shaped diamond halo. Let's see if I can put it on because that's a little bit easier to see. There you go. It's a really, really pretty stone. And we have, these two are gorgeous too. I'll show you both of these at once because they're kind of similar. We have, I turned my ring around, let me just take that off. Two that are these beautiful, well, one is like a radiant cut and the other, no, they're, I thought one was noble, but I think they're both the same. And they have diamonds, this one, has three round diamonds clustered on either side. And this one has, they're not trapezoid. What is this, a shield? Oh, Cadillac. Cadillac-shaped diamonds. Mm -hmm. It's a really bright to the center stone, and that is 
incredibly bright, which may not show up on there, but yeah, it's, it's, just, it's it's very sparkly, and then it has the Cadillac cuts on the other side. Really, really cool cuts. I'll show this one close up as well. Really pretty. And one more ring. This one is, um, oh. it's a, I think it's an estate piece if I'm not mistaken. It's this really pretty filigree. I know this is on a lot Actually, of wish lists. For originals. Um, oh, it is. And okay. the stone in the center for how small it is has really, really nice deep coloring. It's beautiful. And um, the earrings that I'm wearing too. So I have on these really cute little rose gold earrings that have a little diamond frame and little um, tanzanites and a little diamond on the top on a little lever back setting. They're really cute. You can definitely wear them the every day. Great in the rose. Yeah, I love tanzanite and rose gold. Lindsay says, I agree. I love my Deja and go off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You'll have to share too on Facebook or something. Um, so I think that's all that we wanted to say today. And um, I look forward to seeing how you guys participate in the Diamond Strong posts. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Was there anything yeah. else? Love you guys. We love you. Love we you. miss you. Thank you. And we're so very grateful to have you and to be able to interact with you. So until our next live video, bye. Bye. Hugs. Hugs. Open bye. hearts. <laughs>